Welcome everyone to Oxygen Not Included. My name is Heiner and today we will continue building the perfect base. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It really helps to get this video to other people. And if you want to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe as well. In the last video, we made our deep freeze here. We created this um, cooling loop. Uh, with this thermo aqua tuner which cools down these metal tiles to minus 48 approximately food is cycled through here and then it ends up here in a vacuum deep frozen and it stays there deep frozen so this stays now uh, at minus 35 ish minus 34 Approximately like that. I think I set the temperature to below minus 35 and then the food is shifted out as long as the food is below minus 18 degrees, it will not, um, it will not go bad. Uh, it will not go stale. It will not not rot. Because this is a vacuum, uh, this food will not change temperature. And this here is an insulated tile. It's not a perfect insulator, but the food will hardly um, exchange temperature at all with this insulated tile. So we're, we're going to be very good for a long, long time here. Um, as you can see, we're doing fine on calories. And yeah, we're not losing any percentage on our spoilage. In today's episode, I want to change my oxygen, which is now using the oxygen diffusers. I want to change the oxygen production to a more sustainable solution. The problem with these oxygen diffusers is that they use large quantities of algae um, here algae and we only have 8.2 tons left uh, of course we can dig out more there is a little bit that that's actually a lot more there's a lot more here a lot more here there's some there and here but in the end this is not going to be sustainable so i would have to keep an eye on this and make sure that i dig out algae and also my duplicates have to uh, keep feeding these uh, diffusers with algae so it also costs duplicate time in today's episode i want to exchange this to a new solution where we're going to use uh, this electrolyzer and as you can read here electrolyzers convert water into oxygen and hydrogen um, it takes in 1000 grams of clean water it also requires 120 watts of power and then it excretes uh, 888 grams of oxygen. So this is enough for eight duplicants. And it also um, releases a little bit of hydrogen in total 1000 grams per second. Uh, it creates a little bit of heat uh, and it has an overheat temperature of 75. The important thing is that the oxygen and hydrogen are both released at 70 degrees Celsius which is a little bit toasty. Uh, typically you want to have the temperature in here about 25, 20 to 25 is, uh, is a pretty okay temperature. If we release 70 degree oxygen in here, that's going to be an issue. So we need to cool down the oxygen uh, before we use it. That's one thing. Uh, so we need another cooling loop um, or reuse a different one. And we need water as i said uh, we could use this water this would keep us alive for quite a bit but as i said in the intro i want to make this sustainable so we cannot use this uh, instead we're going to use the water here we have a lot of water here uh, and we keep getting new water because of this polluted water vent um, so this is going to be our source uh, there is there are two problems here i have one it's not clean water it's polluted water and two uh, it has a lot of food poisoning um, in it, 183 million germs uh, per tile, that's quite a bit. Um, now food poisoning typically doesn't matter that much in oxygen because you cannot breathe in, you, you can breathe in food poisoning but you don't get the disease from it. But let's not go there, uh, let's try to clean this water and use clean water without any germs. That's going to be our goal. Um, so what we need to do first uh, in order to make our oxygen generation is uh, clean this water uh, and make it germ-free clean water. For that we need two things, uh, the germ removal and we need, of course, what we already use here, water sips, uh, because these change polluted the, uh, water into 
regular water. Um, for the germ removal, which I'm going to do first, I'm going to use chlorine. Um, chlorine works a little bit funky, I think, in my opinion, because uh, if you have liquid reservoirs in a chlorine environment, the germs in the water are actually removed from it, uh, which is a little bit weird um, because it's in a container. But yeah, it is, uh, as it is a mechanism that is in the, in the game, so we're going to make use of that. Um, I'm going to make a system that was uh, designed by, I think, Tony Advanced. So credits to him for making this thing. Uh, he did make it the other way around, so it's uh, he made it from right to left, and I'm going to make it from left to right. So the setup is a little bit different, but he basically made this... Uh, idea on how to do this in an effective way and with a full pipe of water uh, without any hiccups uh, so that's what we're going to do um, uh, i'm going to use the chlorine from here so we finally have a use for this and what i'm going to do is actually use regular tiles because we're not going to really add heat to this cleaning system um, it's actually going to get 30 degree water so it's going to cool down itself so we're going to use regular tiles we can make that out of sandstone uh, and i'm going to make this uh, for starters i'm going to make it eight wide, and in the end it's going to be seven wide. but we need to make it eight wide first um let me think i'm going to maybe i'm just going to fill this in completely that way yeah, let's, let's just do that. Yeah. So I'm just, go, I'm just gonna fill it in completely. And of course we need a water lock, so uh, let's also make that. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if I do this with Filling in the tiles, then I can make this seven white immediately. I don't need to have a pump in there. Six, seven. Let me uh, do this again. So like this. We need a little bit of plumbing in order to... Um, make a liquid lock so that we can keep it uh, vacuum while we're working in it and that's it what I'm also gonna do is remove these here I want to research the mini pumps yeah let's put max to work again and yeah, I'm going to fill this in and that way I can also make a vacuum instead of pumping all the oxygen out. Uh, this is a little bit easier, I guess. We can also move this line already a little bit down. Like this is okay. Okay, and we're going to have some uh, liquid pipes which are going to go here and we're going to have an input here of water into the system uh, we're going to control the water that goes in uh, let me see we need a liquid is it a shut off here so if i don't want water in i will i can stop it The rest of the pipes I'll make later on, but it basically goes in here. And of course we need power also, uh, so let's pull that in there as well. Alright, uh, let me fill this in and then I'll be back. Alright, this is now filled in, so now we're gonna uh, hollow it out again. Uh, deconstruct all of this stuff, so we can start building uh seven whites 
All right. I also did something else here. I made uh, a chamber here, which connects actually both of these uh, now. So the cold room and the hot room. And I put a mini gas pump in here so that we can make this a vacuum so no temperature comes out. I did this because the cold room was leaking coldness, which of course is a waste of power. Uh, and this is a permanent solution that is going to be okay for good. We leaked a little bit of heat here, but that's fine. Uh, also, we have this room now ready. It's completely a vacuum without having to pump anything out. We have a little bit of sandstone in here, but that's fine for building. Um, so now we're going to start with the stuff that we make here. We're going to make three liquid reservoirs in here. We're going to make um, a liquid pipe germ sensor because we want to detect whether or not we still have germs. We're going to make another uh, shutoff here. And then we're going to work with the pipes. Uh, we're going to make normal pipes out of sandstone, which is fine. Um, and we're going to lead it in here. This one we don't need to build. All right, so we're going to come out here. And we have to go in there, and this one has to go in there. So that's the problem with this being backwards. It's a little bit odd, um, but I... I'm going to do this in the following way. We're going to go down here. We're going to jump over because this exit is the one that has to go through um, here where we detect whether or not we still have germs. If we still have germs, then this will be open and we will go back into here. If we don't have germs, then we can go down um, to the sips where we're going to clean the water because it's still polluted water, of course. Okay, so now this one has to go in here, uh, which is easy to do like this, like that. And then this one has to go in here, which we can do like this, I guess. All right, then, of course, if we go through here, um, at some point, we will have this one full. Uh, this reservoir and if this one is full then we will get um, water that is cannot go in here and then it has to go back into the previous one uh, we can do that by either going up or to the left uh, let's actually go let's go to the left here uh, we cannot disconnect it because then we have a two-way overflow that goes both ways that that's not good so what we have to do is, oh, no, we need the pipe. We go to the left, then we have to set a direction. And then we can go into this one. And that way, this overflow will only go in this direction. It's going to be a little bit of a mess, but uh, bear with me. And then here we have the same because we have inputs and we have this input. At some point, this might get full. So here again, we need an uh, overflow. We only have one way to go, which is up. So let's go up. We have to set a direction again, which will go like this. And then we can go in there. And that should be the piping. Uh, it looks a bit like, uh, like uh, as a mess, but uh, maybe I could have made it more pretty. I don't know. If it's the other way around, it's definitely more pretty. Um, but yeah, let's connect that. I don't know why it tries to, yeah, let's, let's just leave it because otherwise we will replace, replace this one. Uh, I actually don't really care that much. Let's leave. So this is the piping. Then we also need power. Let's move the power to there. And we need automation. So I have some automation wire. I want to connect this here. And I also want to limit the amount of water that goes into the system. If all three of these tanks are full, then every, everything will come to a stop. So I want to um, disable this uh, this shutoff if this one gets too full. Uh, but that is not the only thing that I want to control it on. Uh, so I want to have an AND gate. Let me see how we're going to put it. I guess like this. 
Uh, so if this one is full enough and uh, we check if this one still has enough, then we uh, go here. But I also want to have a signal switch. So I'm going to add one more thing here. I want to make another AND gate. Oh, automation wire. So this goes in here. This one goes in here. If those are all true, then we go in here. And if those are both true, then we enable this. All right, and that should be the full system. Uh, let's also, because, yeah, let's just put um, our chlorine in here as well, because why not? We can deconstruct the rest of this soon. But yeah, this is going to be that system. Uh, below that, we're going to have our um, water sifts. Let me see. Oxygen, no, they are under refinements. Water sift. These I can swap around, so let's do it. Uh, like this. And then what I want to do is, if we don't have that much water, we can actually make dew with one sift. So I'm going to prioritize this direction. And if we have too much for one sift, then we're going to have them both. And we're also going to combine this line again. We need two because we're going to have full packs of water. And these both can do five um, kilograms each. Uh, so, yeah. We need to mesh tiles underneath. I'm going to make a storage bin here. And we're also going to fill these um, water sifts automatically. So we need to have a auto sweeper here. We need to connect this all with power. We're going to use the heavy watt wire for that. Like that. So that should be uh, that this way we should have clean water uh, if this all uh, starts working. We have already disconnected everything, so that's good. I want to set this up first, of course. Uh, this is already filling up with chlor chlorine. It is a little bit hot here. It was 50 degrees or something. No, 36 is fine. So this is going to heat up a little bit, but actually the water is going to heat it up more. Uh, here we can... Disable this, and that will disable this one as well. So we disable this shot off for now. Uh, in here we want sand. 20 kilogram is okay, I guess. And then this is going to create polluted dirt, which should go in here, actually. Uh, so what I'm going to do... Let's deconstruct this one. We're going to make a conveyor loader here. Rail. Now we're going to drop off our um, polluted dirt here. Uh, we cannot reach that, so we have to build the ladder for a second. Should be fine. And then this also uses power, of course. Okay. In the meantime, I built up a couple of deodorizers here because uh, we had some... We still have slime on here and uh, we had a lot of germs here. But mostly we had polluted oxygen. I wanted to clean that up a little bit. Um, what I'm going to make here is another unlimited storage, but this time for clean water. Uh, let me see, this was six, uh, seven high. Like that. Same width. Like this. 
Let's build this up. Uh, this is all going to be out of igneous rock, which is fine. Doesn't have to be out of ceramic. It's a little bit excessive. This is already done, so let's deconstruct this. Let's deconstruct these pipes as well, at least a couple. Because we don't need this. Then we can clean this up and close it off. This is all done already. Um, here we want to send a green signal to the shutoff if we are below zero. So that means if we have no germs, then I want to send um, the water down to this system. Let me see, is everything connected already? This is connected. Uh, this one we also need to set up. So I want to have new water if we are below, let's say 80. And if we are below 60, then we can get new water. That seems to be okay. This is already filled up. Uh, here we want to fill in, uh, put in our polluted dirt, which will come from this, right? This produces polluted dirt, yeah. So we automatically collect it, put it in here, and output it here. Is everything already built here? Shipping? Wow, that's quick. Uh, this is built, uh, so let's start deconstructing some stuff. We can deconstruct this deodorizer. We can deconstruct these ladders. Uh, yeah, we can also deconstruct this, I guess. Yeah, we don't need that anymore. Then we can slowly fill this in with what it needs. Uh, that's hydro sensor again here. We can make a output here. Automation wire, unreachable build. We don't need that, right? Yeah, it just wants to create it again. So let's make our automation wire again when we need it. Uh, and we make a liquid pump out of gold amalgam, which is fine. Oh, we cannot make it yet. So we need to deconstruct this first. All right. Uh, this is all cleaned up, so we can close this off now. We have completely done with this, and now we can deconstruct everything here as well. Yep, we don't need this liquid lock anymore. This is a finalized system. I'm not expecting that I have to go in here. Uh, let's, let's actually leave it <laughs> until I check whether this works. Okay, that is removed, so we can make our pump here. We can make our pipes. Let's see, let's go like this again. We also go in there. We come from here. It's all. That's fine. Uh, and here again, I want to make a bridge. So we prioritize the water that's coming in um, that to go in the output line. And only if we have um, not enough water from, from here coming, then we want to pump it out. So the same system is here. We go down. And here is our output. All right, we can deconstruct this as well. We can clean this all up. And then we can start. We actually have a little bit of polluted oxygen in here. How is that possible? Uh, I hope this moves. Let's deconstruct this insulated tile. Because this... Okay. Now I think we're good. It looks okay. I don't want any polluted oxygen in here. Because that's just going to um, add more and more uh, germs. And I don't want that. So let's fill this in uh, with copper is okay. Like that. Here as well. We can add in this. And these two, I guess. 
Do we have power? We need power to this uh, pump as well. Yeah, we can just do it like this. And let's close this off at the top as well. I hope this ladder falls at the top. Let's see, we have a little bit of pressure in here, but not that much. Uh, I guess we can already connect this. And this one as well. Um, I guess yeah, this is closed off. Let's activate our system here. Let's see what happens. This is set to below zero, so only if we have less than zero, it should come down. So let's... Oops, let's set this to action, uh, yeah. So what we're gonna see here is water comes in. Uh, when it goes in here, it automatically immediately leaves this tank again, so it doesn't really lose any germs. That's why you need to have more than one, uh, because it jumps from this one immediately to the next one, immediately to the next one. When the water's in the pipes, it's not affected by chlorine, only in these tanks. So we will see here that um, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I did it completely the wrong way around. Okay, okay. So wait, that's very dumb. Um, yeah, I need to go back in there. Let me deactivate the system again. That's stupid. That's so stupid. Yeah, I need to move this up. I only want to go through this side. Th uh, no, through this side. If we are uh, below... Yeah, it only has to be open if we are below zero. Whoops. Uh, okay, that was a little bit of a mess. The water goes in here now, stays in there. Yeah, it's blocked. So we have to go back in here. Whoops, deconstruct. It's, it's a good thing I didn't deconstruct this uh, thing yet. Do we have water in here? We don't. So we can deconstruct this. So let me do this again, but now proper. Uh, I want to go here yes and then go in here and then this one comes out let's disconnect this and this for now and then this water i have to uh dispose of for now in here i guess Uh, automation wire as well. So I only want to open this up, the exit, if we are below zero. And then this is opened and we actually take the exit here. Whoops. That was a little bit silly. Okay, we're moving the water through. Yeah, this is all going to go through, I guess. Uh, I guess I can connect... Oops. No, 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 no. I guess I can connect that one. Disconnect this. And then connect this one again. And now it's gonna cycle here, of course. Uh, do I have power? I also need to connect the power. Don't forget. And then I can... Empty this again by enabling the system and then this should have equal priority with this line yeah that should clean it up but yeah you see now uh, we have germs here uh, i should actually move this up right i don't want to have an accident here so i should move this up one all right, so this one copies settings to here, and then we can deconstruct this one. We have to move it like... 
I want to have to check the water that is going in here and not one packet earlier because that could lead to mistakes. Um, PM, can you uh, move back here, please? Deconstruct that, thanks. All right, so we're going to clean that up again. Uh, we're going to connect the automation wire. Uh, actually, we can deconstruct this one as well. Like automation wire is connected. We can connect the um, liquid pipe again. So that is cycling again. Um, why does this not have power? Oh, I disconnected the power as well. Okay, this is... If we are below zero... Oh, wait, the water in here now has zero germs. Yeah, whatever. Uh, we're going to enable this again, and let's see what happens. Okay, this is now cycling in here as it should. This is empty. Okay, let me disconnect this again. Uh, disconnect this, and now we're going to go back in here the way it should be. Because um, now this is filling up. As you can see, this tank here is going to get germs, and this ger uh, food poisoning amount is, you, you see it going, uh, it's struggling because we get more and more water with a lot of germs in there, but it is deleting the germs. Because this one is uh, backtracking, uh, we are also going back in here, so these are both filling up, and at some point um, these are full. The more water is in here, the quicker the germs are deleted. And the third one is just to uh, make sure that if these are full, that uh, we can keep going. But yeah, we're slowly now deleting the germs. So we can close this up once again. Let's do that. In the meantime, this is built up. Uh, how much oxygen do we have in here? 900... I guess we can close this off. Shouldn't have any issues with this 900 grams. Yeah, should be fine. So this is going to take a while to clean up. Uh, you can see we're already at 60,000. So this is uh, going down quite a bit. You can also see it here. We're slowly going down in the amount of germs in the water that's coming through. Because uh, we, we keep at approximately the same amount of germs, but it's it's getting diluted uh, over more um, water. So let's... Uh, oh, wait, I forgot. I don't like it if we have something in here. Let me actually sweep everything. So this is also getting lower and lower. We had 60, 160. Right, this is now a closed system. And now we shouldn't have to go back in here. And this is going to actually empty this really quickly. So let's wait until uh, these are full and then we are going to see magic happen. So I'll be back. All right, we're getting to a point where this is almost full, 20, 10, five tons. So now this is not getting new water, or at least not as quick. And we're actually going to start adding water here because it's going back here and this one is pushing back water here. And you can see that we're actually getting clean water now. This switched to zero for a second. We are very low numbers. And we're sometimes going to get clean water in here, which is going through the sieves. Oh, we need to connect this, of course. Because this should now be poison, uh, poison, germ-free water. Yeah, no germs, just pure water. And because we have a, an infinite storage, we can put in here as much as we want. Uh, so this is perfect. Uh, this will get to a stable situation where this is always green. 
but yeah, we want to keep checking, of course, to make sure that all the water that goes through, and this is nicely merging to full packets, all the water that's going through is always um, clean. Now you can see here also that if this stops, then for a minute only this one is running to save up a little bit of power. And also this is prioritized. So this one will run a little bit more than the other one. This auto sweeper will fill the polluted dirt that is dropped in here and then it will go to this output automatically on the water so it's not off gassing. Uh, but yeah, you can see here we already have a thousand grams, a thousand kilograms of water in here. And this is going to go up really quickly. Anyway, we have polluted dirt here. Why is this not... Oh, it is in. Um... Are they manually storing it? Because this is an 8. Let's make this a 6, actually. Copy settings. They uh, shouldn't have to do that manually. We have an auto sweeper here. Let me see. Is this now happening automatically? Because so we have polluted dirt enabled. Yeah, now it's going through here. It might be off gassing a little bit here. I want to prevent it from off gassing here, so I'm going through these tiles. But yeah, we're putting it in here. Um, yeah, it might be that they start adding this polluted dirt in here, which is not much I can do about that, I think. Anyway, as you can see, a thousand kilograms here, and here's also adding up. So we have our pure water now that we need for our oxygen system. So next up is setting up our oxygen system in a, an efficient way. So as you can see here, we now came to an equilibrium. This one is as good as full with only a couple of germs in here. This one has a little bit more, about 60 to 65, maybe close to 70. And then this one has 1500 kilograms of water. Uh, and everything that is going through here now has zero germs. Oh, we actually, now that I talk about it, we have a couple with four germs, uh, but almost all the water going through here has zero germs. So this, actually the amount of water we have here is going to drop very quickly and we're going to fill this up very, very quickly uh, with nice clean water. In the meantime, we also made some progress with this setup. Uh, I'm making use of some of the physics to make this more efficient. Uh, as I said, uh, this here creates oxygen and hydrogen. Hydrogen is very light, so it will try to go to the top. Oxygen is lighter, so it will try to go to the bottom. So I want to make it so that all of this is oxygen, because oxygen will push through here, and this will be blocked all by oxygen, uh, by hydrogen, and oxygen will collect down here. What I'm also going to do here is this water is 30 degrees. As I said, this oxygen coming out 70 degrees so i'm going to use the water to already pre-cool the oxygen that we get out of here so when we pump it out it's already around 30 degrees um, so that's going to help a bit uh, let me actually connect this yeah and we can also connect this i guess yeah uh, we're going to leave this disconnected for now. I don't want to create oxygen and hydrogen yet. We need to uh, make sure that this is all set. Uh, let me sweep up this stuff first. And then we close off the system. Um, everything. Oh, this is made out of copper ore. Uh, yeah, that needs to change. I want to make all of this out of gold amalgam to make sure that it doesn't overheat. These machines all overheat at 75 degrees and the oxygen is 70 degrees. So it only needs to heat up a little for these things to overheat and they get damaged. If I make it out of gold amalgam, they have an uh, overheat temperature of 125. So then we're not going to run into issues. So let's just be safe. Uh, let's pick this up. Then we're going to make a new electrolyzer. This time, come on. 
Electrolyze out of gold amalgam. I'm going to put that here. Then we're going to close this off. And then we're going to first uh, make this a vacuum uh, to make sure that everything is clean. All right. So this is not gold amalgam. Everything is emptied as far as I can tell. So let's close this off. We make another um, heavy watt conductive joint plate here. Uh, I'm on purpose making a temperature connection between the inside and outside. So this can also cool down a little bit. Uh, I didn't have to do that, but... Uh, I'm just going to do it anyway. It's going to leak out a little bit of heat here, but I don't really care that much about it. It's not going to be that much. So let's close this off. Uh, then we can start connecting all the power wires because they're still disconnected. Uh, actually, we can already connect this because I set uh, all the um, Atmo sensors at very high uh, values. So if we set this to below now, we're going to pump everything to a vacuum. And this should happen fairly quick with three pumps. And okay. Yeah, this should be really quick. Uh, let me see. So the oxygen that's coming out here will be about 30 degrees. Uh, I want to condition the oxygen that's going to the base, but the oxygen that's going to these uh, Atmo suits, I'm okay with that 30 uh, degrees. Uh, I also want to make sure that the um, oxygen suits get oxygen first. So what I'm going to do is put a bridge here or... Yeah, let's make a bridge here. This is okay. Insulated pipes through, and then we're going to go through here. And I'm also going to exchange all of these for insulated. That's where our first oxygen will go to. Uh, all the other oxygen, uh, it will be about 30 degrees, but that's still a little bit too much. So we're going to move that down. And I'm going to cool that in a cooling loop. And I'm going to make that cooling loop down here, making use of this aqua tuner. Uh, that's going to be the next step. Uh, anyway, this is now okay. Uh, this should be above 750. I don't want this these pumps to run always if there's a little bit of oxygen. I only want them to run if uh, there's sufficient oxygen to pump it out. Uh, this can be above 450, uh, and then I can pump out the hydrogen. Actually, I want to have this above more for now, uh, because I want to uh, collect a little bit of hydrogen first before I'm going to pump out anything. Uh, these I cannot reach, I guess. Yeah, I cannot. So yeah, that's now a vacuum. We can deconstruct this one, I guess. Yeah, that can be deconstructed for sure. And the pipe also. Because anything that comes here, I will not get hydrogen here, that's for sure. Hydrogen will go to the top and only oxygen will go in here. All right, uh, so this is now built. I'm not gonna enable it just yet because uh, we don't have the cooling loop enabled just yet. So I'm going to do that next. Um, we're going to make it at the bottom here uh, in this system. Uh, we have two steam turbines here. I want to leave room for two more next to it because we're going to make this a big steam room. So uh, I'm going to measure it out and then we have, uh, we're going to make a heat sink for our oxygen all right i'll be back when i have set up something all right we're a little bit a couple cycles further but we should be ready to get everything started first of all we have made this heatsink here where we have 
some lead metal tiles that are going to get cooled by this cooling loop so we're going to make sure that the water actually goes this direction and we can close this off here again should have sufficient water in here so this is going to cool this down uh, what did we set this to 10 degrees I guess we can set this to something like 15 should be okay and this should cool this down quite a bit uh, what we also have in here is radiant gas pipes so we can put our oxygen through here and that will cool down our oxygen uh, until it has the correct temperature then it will go up here jump over this bridge and we will fill our base in a lot of spots uh, and that should fill our base of course we will generate enough oxygen for almost nine duplicates we have six so we have excess in order to take care of that i made this reroute uh, where we um, get our cooled oxygen back here and then we fill up this infinite storage with oxygen so we're gonna have a lot of oxygen there as well uh, i guess we can also destruct the uh, deconstruct that now uh, we only needed that to clean that out um yeah so let's uh, this is already cooled so we can go back here this is connected um our fresh oxygen should come from this side soon um, so let's enable this uh, we need water for that so let's connect this here and then we should get uh, water in here. Uh, that should mean we have a vacuum here as well, of course. Yeah, vacuum is the, this is all a vacuum. It's not cooling anything at the moment, but uh, we're going in here. So now we have hydrogen actually down here. That's very odd. Okay, this should be above let's make sure that everything stabilizes a little bit we want our hydrogen to go up okay our hydrogen is going up so this is now only oxygen down here so let's set this to the normal setting above 750 and then we should start pumping out our oxygen here and up here uh, i made sure that we still have this oxygen vent or this um, gas vent so we pump out everything that is not hydrogen and uh, once we have a clean um, hydrogen piece here then we can start uh, yeah I want to collect a little bit of hydrogen first but yeah here we are getting our oxygen and it's actually coming out at 30 degrees which is pretty okay so we're going to connect this here and I'm going to connect disconnect this side we're going to get our oxygen now from here it's first coming from that side and if we have extra then we go down to cool it perfect in the meantime we also should have quite a bit of hydrogen up here so let's set this down to above 450 that means we should start pumping this out and once we get rid of all of the oxygen let me see what we have vacuum vacuum hydrogen 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 so at this point we shouldn't get anything oxygen related anymore so we can actually deconstruct this high pressure gas vent deconstruct let's set this to uh, uh, 20,000 for a bit so we don't vacuum out all of our hydrogen because it is power uh, we are pumping everything that we get here into this hydrogen generator which is going to feed our um, power grid also with 800 watts every now and then when we get hydrogen free power um, yeah so our oxygen is going down here it's going through this heat sink it comes in at about 31 degrees 30 31 it goes through here and it comes out at 11 degrees I guess that's a little bit on the cold side uh, but 
uh, I guess we can set this a little bit higher. Let's set it to 20 degrees, should be fine. That means this should be going up a little bit. I guess it's still a little bit on the low side. Still needs to heat, and let's leave it at 15. Uh, yeah, this is not backing up yet, so everything is still going in here. Um, regarding this, I guess we can remove this pump now, deconstruct, and then I need to do a trick with the gas bridge to make sure that everything is going to be pumped out so we need to have it in and out like this yeah this needs to be deconstructed first okay the thing is this is not moving now uh by the way i can make ventilation gas vents here gas pipes through set this to a high priority because i want to empty out this pipe I don't want accidentally going anything going into this vacuum here. So let's build this so this uh, pipe empties. And it will not empty because there's no out, so nothing is pushing it. And we can trick the system by making a bridge. So we have an, uh, an out. And we set this to a 9. So this, this is now 9. And then we can actually also deconstruct uh, these two. Because we're gonna have plenty of oxygen at this point. So let's see this happen. Yeah, this is emptying now. Slowly, but surely. And when this is all empty, then I can deconstruct the pipes. And I really hope that this... Oh, we have polluted... Why do we have polluted dirt here? What the heck? How? How? That's very annoying. Very annoying. Anyway, uh, let's deconstruct all of this now. We don't need it anymore. Deconstruct all of this. Deconstruct this. Yeah, it's all dropping on this side. That's perfect. Alright. We have our new oxygen system. This is 11 degrees. Yeah, it's not going up very quickly. Our water is still pretty cool. Anyway, I'm, I will be back once this... Um, our, our base overpressures. Uh, let's see, this is going to take a while. Now, 1800. It could take a while, I guess. Alright, while this was running, I also uh, made a quick hospital area, uh, which requires... A, it requires medical equipment, which I have is the, the cots here, the sick bay, an apothecary where you can make medicine, actually, which we probably won't need much. Uh, you also need in there a toilet. So I put in a toilet, I disabled it, and you need a mess table also, which I also disabled. Um, yeah. You just need those items in there to make it hospital. So, yeah. And also put some sculpting blocks in here to make the decor a little bit better. But, uh, yeah, it's not our biggest concern at the moment. Our duplicates are walking decor, as you can see. <laughs> um, in the meantime, this is still... Our base is still uh, filling up with oxygen. You can see that uh, some of our vents are already overpressured. Uh, it needs a little bit more time, and then this will start filling up as well. Uh, I already, because I uh, disconnected this for a bit, I have a little bit of oxygen in here, but this is where our overflow will go into. So we always have some spare oxygen uh, once this is fully uh, oxygenated to 2,000 grams. Um, anyway, I think that is it. Uh, our food is also looking fantastic. We have 134,000 kilocalories of barbecue, which is fantastic. Um, it's only going up uh, and it's all being deep frozen. So nothing is going to spoil, uh, which is perfect. 
Um, yeah, so food is looking good. Oxygen is looking very good. We have basically an unlimited amount of water to make oxygen. Uh, so we're never running out of oxygen and food. And that's the two things that a duplicate need. So we are basic. Oh, um, yeah, I need to click this one. Oh, we have some sandstone. Okay, let's pick some sandstone. I don't understand why this here is really odd. Every time I pick something, I cannot get what I picked. Anyway, uh, we cannot use most of the uh, stuff down here because we don't have the skills yet. We need a doctor and we need um, a sculptor. Let me see if we take priorities, no skills. Do we have I guess we have some, uh, we have May here who can go into decorating, I guess. Yeah, this is plus six. Yeah, that works. Do we have one that likes to decorate? I guess not. But yeah, May can go decorating. Um, our cook, why not? And then we also need to have a doctor. Uh, doctoring is also three, so let's see, do we have someone? So that's five, seven, eight, seven, seven. Do we have someone that likes to be a doctor? No. Maybe Liam? Liam is our mechatronics engineer. I guess he can be our doctor as well. We, it's not like we need to be a doctor often. Uh, and this is going to also increase our morale in, again because we have a hospital so yeah that'll work so now we actually have insufficient resourcing doctor station medical supplies what the heck is that crucial materials for this building are beyond reach or unavailable okay not sure what that means. It looks like that is not really done, or is this from a mod? Sick base can be placed in hospital rooms to decrease the likelihoods. Okay, I don't know. Anyway, we don't have any uh, hurt duplicates. Sometimes I have them fight uh, some hatchlings that we have an excess of. Uh, because these are full, and if we get more, then uh, uh, I get all right. Uh, anyway, we have unlimited oxygen, we have unlimited food, so now we can go crazy and explore the rest of the map, uh, go into space, stuff like that. We are 100% stable now, so um, I'm gonna leave it there. If you have any remarks in this video, or any suggestion of what to do next. Feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.